So he is going from Harlem State Senator to New York's state's Lieutenant Governor. That's right, as Governor Kathy Hochul looks to expand her team with lawmakers familiar with the issues of downstate New Yorkers. She's appointed Manhattan Senator Brian Benjamin. He's a highly educated, disciplined, passionate individual, someone I consider a friend. I want a partner in government that will be at, me, with me at my side as you make the tough decisions. All right, joining us now, the incoming Lieutenant Governor, Brian Benjamin. Mr. Benjamin, Senator, Lieutenant Governor to be, thanks for being with us. <laughs> Thank you. I love native New Yorker, by the way. I'm glad you played that. Well, well you know, that's a great point. She spoke about that. You're a native New Yorker. You're an yeah, Ivy League or double Ivy League degrees. So you've I certainly am. got a mix of street smarts that come from being from New York and book smarts from the Ivy League. You know, what percentage Absolutely. of each do you think you're going to use in your new job? Uh, as Lieutenant I think Governor. I, I think I'm going to use uh, both equally. You know, mm -hmm. one of the things we absolutely have to do is we have to usher in a new uh, gen uh, era of collaboration. When you think about the issues we have facing us, COVID, when we, we want to return to normalcy. You know, Dr. Fauci said if we get people vaccinated, we can actually have a shot to, of getting back to normal by spring of next year. That would be exciting for all of us. And I think when I think about what you know, Kathy and I need to do, we need to bring everyone together, work from the, the federal level, the state level, the city level, advocates across the board. We need to bring all voices to the table and we need to make sure that we're getting back to normal. So that includes uh, COVID. Also, there are a lot of people who have suffered during COVID, uh, renters, homeowners, small businesses. There is federal resources that have been provided for us to distribute. State government has to deliver that. Uh, to the people. And so, you know, I was a state senator for four years, uh, representing. Uh, but I also was presiding over the Senate. I have a lot of experience in the legislature, and I can help the governor make sure that the government works, New York State delivers for the people, because this is the kind of time when we need the, the government to, to really work on behalf of all New Yorkers. Yeah, certainly so. And crossing our fingers for spring of 2021, something to look forward to if everything goes well. Uh, the role and responsibilities of you, Lieutenant Governor, at the discretion of the governor. So what, what does Governor Hochul talk to you about maybe your role would be? Because we can assume it's probably going to be a whole lot different than maybe her role as Lieutenant Governor. Right, she didn't have much input. Yeah. She has said to make you more of a partner. Uh, how would you hope to work with her and what would you specifically like to get done in that role? So we've started having early conversations, as you can imagine, it's like drinking from a fire hose right now with everything happening at the same time. But a couple of things that she would like me to uh, work on, number one, uh, New York City public housing. Uh, it's been a long-term uh, problem. It is a federal, state, and city problem. Uh, the federal government had traditionally uh, helped to fund public housing. We need to figure out how we are going to actually sort of provide adequate housing. In the city of New York, the wealthiest city in the world, there's no reason why we should have people living in squalor. And so one of the things that she wants me to do is head up a task force to do that, which I'm excited to do. Mm. Uh, also, you know, I have a lot of experience in relationships within the legislature. So as we're looking at our, our, um, our sort of agenda for next year, which she's in the process of helping to work on, I can be uh, an important uh, player in helping to make sure that you know, we're having the right conversations and, and we're helping to make sure that that agenda happens on behalf of New Yorkers. The one thing I know I've been frustrated uh, by was just feeling like government wasn't working, right? The, the, the president's fighting with the governor, who's fighting with the mayor, and we really cannot afford um, to have that happen uh, anymore. You know, too many people have suffered during COVID. Too many people, you know, are, are disillusioned with government. And one of the things, you know, we have a very diverse ticket. We have the first female governor in the history of New York. I'm the second African-American. Um, that diversity is important, but everyone needs to be at the table. Uh, but we absolutely need to make sure that people feel like they can have faith in our government that it's going to work for them. It's going to work for half of of all New Yorkers, and so she, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be whatever she needs me to be, to be frank. Uh, but she has said to me, she wants me to be a real partner. She wants to collaborate with me, and um, she thinks I'll be, add a little value, and I'm happy to do that. There's, we still have a lot of conversations uh, to, to, to go in terms of some other specifics, which I have some ideas in mind. But we want to sit down um, after I'm actually sworn in uh, to, to, to really work through that and 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 get get to work on behalf of the people of New York. You know, our, she's running certainly uh, on a pledge of transparency and ethics. There have been questions about some campaign fundraising, campaign spending, et cetera, that have pretty much been put to bed. Uh, can you promise the people of New York that there's no other things like that that would undermine that message coming from the governor's office? Yeah, absolutely not. You know, we, we, uh, we work through all of those issues, and 
Uh, you know, one of the things that I feel very strongly about is how we, as we sort of open up our lieutenant governor account, uh, I'm being very careful. Um, we're having the right lawyers, the right finance people who are going to help make sure that there are absolutely no concerns uh, as we move forward on that front. All right, awesome, because we heard that two-year-old boy got his $250 allowance yeah, back. Yeah, a lot of money for two-year-old. <laughs> Especially for two-year-old. Uh, no. Well, actually we, actually, we gave that money to the campaign finance board. Gotcha. Uh, but it was unfortunate, you know, when you when you have these um, these races and you have these volunteers, people just say, hey, I want to raise you money. Uh, you know, sometimes mm. people do things that they shouldn't have done, which unfortunately that happened. But the minute we found out, out about it, we cleaned it up. We had the, uh, the campaign finance board work with our campaign. They didn't attribute any of those issues to our campaign. They gave us full matching funds, so it wasn't. It was an unfortunate incident, but it was mm -hmm. not something that was endemic uh, or uh, mm -hmm. concern of the campaign directly. And we got to ask you now, because you know, yes. maybe maybe a couple of years down the road, do you plan to run for governor? My plan is to run for lieutenant governor. Uh, I um, I am honored to be on Kathy Hochul's team. I think she's going to be an amazing governor, and my goal is to be her partner, fully through and through full loyalty, full support. And so as far as I'm concerned, that's what I'm looking to run for. But to be frank, you know, I was saying this, I said this yesterday when I was giving my speech, titles are not what people want uh, uh, us to be focused on. What they want us to be focusing on is helping New Yorkers, helping them deal with their daily lives. And if we do that, I think the titles will figure themselves out at the appropriate time. And so I just want to really be super focused on, laser focused on uh, bringing my skills um, you know, as you mentioned, I went to Brown and Harvard Business School. I have public sector experience, private sector experience. I served on my community board. I've done a range of things that I think are going to be very helpful in this ticket, uh, this administration, as we look to really make sure that New Yorkers feel like, you know what, wow, government really worked for us. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are people who have gone on public assistance, who lost their jobs, lost their businesses, who've never been in that position before. Yeah. Uh, so, in addition to the endemic problems that we haven't solved, we also have this newer group of folks who are saying, oh my God, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna move forward? I have a year worth of, of rent arrears, excluded workers who completely had no support. We have to make sure government works on their behalf. Mm -hmm. A city well, folk are known for staying local. Governor Hochul was known as a road warrior. She visited all 62 counties. Are you ready to hit the road and do the same thing in your role? I'm ready to, I'm ready to hit the road and do the same thing. Obviously, you know, that's something that she uh, and I will talk about. I'm, look, I can, I'm a campaigner. I can hit the streets. I, I am, I am a, per, I'm a people person. I love meeting the, uh, New Yorkers. So I, will, I would love to hit all 62 counties in the next next year, but we just got to figure out what makes most sense given uh, the need of the governor and what and some of the things she needs me to do. Yeah, yeah certainly. We would definitely look forward to seeing you out on the streets at some point. Indeed. Lots Thank of you. county fairs in your future. Fried <laughs> butter, whatnot. Absolutely. We will see you out there. All right. It. Lieutenant Governor Brian Benjamin, we appreciate you sitting down with us this morning.